everyone, this is Emily. This is Stephanie. And today we're actually going to begin another book bingo video and we are completing our, ch completing our challenge for debut author slash novel. So for my particular pick, I chose uh, Chemistry by Wiki Wong. It was one of our book of the month picks and uh, the video is actually available on our channel right now. And for me in particular, I, uh, I actually enjoyed this book more for their, its literary ambitions given the fact that it was a debut author. So she had a lot of things she wanted to write about in terms of like the Chinese American experience, like having, being a PhD, um, I guess, candidate, like all these particular things that you don't really find often in the literary section, you know, about like uh, immigrant plus like academics plus being able to have to deal with, um, I guess, a lot of the day-to-day -day things. So mm -hmm. as a story, it's, uh, it's realistic fiction, but uh, I would definitely say that it's more on the artsier side of things. So I guess it was it was a good read to really testif uh, to testify against like testify for like writers. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it would be a really good read for those who are looking for entertainment though. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for more information, you definitely check out our video because we have a much more in-depth review on the book itself, as well as my opinion as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can check that out for yourself mm -hmm. if, you know, whether or not we both liked it or not and what we thought about the book in general. Mm -hmm. um, for my pick for this time around, I did uh, This Is Where It Ends by Marika Nijkamp. I read this book too. This book's premise is basically um, talking about school shooting. Um, the way how it's set up is based on time, the timelines, like, you know, like 10 one 10 o'clock, etc. And it also follows a story with four different people. And they're all somehow related to the shooter, whether by association, by relationship, by um, what kind of relationship, like sibling, lover, etc., what kind, whatever. Um, so you kind of get to see how they all end up being connected to the shooter and their own thoughts as how this whole thing is being played out. And I think it's, I thought it was a really, really good book just because I feel like there's not too many books like this out there. Mm -hmm. um, and especially in America these days where school shooting, like, unfortunately is kind of something that's been happening a lot. Um, so it's, it was really interesting for me to read kind of a perspective on the people who are there. Um, I feel like the other books I've read that's related to this genre usually are not... Um, in the mindset of the people, like the victims, they're in the mindset of people outside. So I thought this was a good book in terms of that. Um, it was very engaging, very uh, fast paced. You're like, I would, I literally read this book like so fast because you just get so absorbed in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you want to give your short little blur since you read this book apparently too. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I actually met the literary agent behind it too. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. I took a class from her. Uh, about cur curry writing <laughs> so um anyway so in regards to the book itself uh, I'd say that again like I could definitely agree with like the fast paced of the story the narrative mm -hmm. um I'd say that the most interesting part that uh, kind of struck out for me was more the fact that it was a foreigner writing about like an American school yeah. shooting mm -hmm. and I, I think that actually added a bit of a fantastical element to it because Scandinavia as a as like a region isn't really well known for any sort of violence yeah it's in particular. Very, very safe countries. yeah like I, for example like I, I have a coworker who's from who's actually like raised in Norway and mm -hmm. she says that it takes if there's a robbery at a bank it actually they were the police will be required to file an application for a gun and by the time the gun is in their hands <laughs> you know the robbery is already done so Coming from that particular idea of like the author, right? Like mm -hmm. I felt like that was actually what made the book more interesting for okay. me. Um, just because I, I could only imagine that like she picked pieces of mm -hmm. like narrative from like, you know, journalists, right. from live interviews, um, that kind of like put together this idea of how American schools are that I don't know if necessarily is entirely representative. I mean, a lot of, like, the issues that she brings up mm -hmm. about how, like, the shooter became the shooter mm -hmm. are real, but, um, I guess from my perspective, it was just more, it was, that was what, that was intriguing for me. I was yeah, like, I mean, I don't really know much about the author's background, so she might have easily, like, lived in the U.S. for, like, mm -hmm. many years that she didn't really feel like it was a fantastical element. Yeah, to probably. Her um, 
so that's how she was able to you know really get in depth with the whole like realities of the situation mm -hmm. or she just did a lot of research <laughs> like, yeah that's true too you know, like there's so. nothing wrong with um writing about stuff that you don't know right um and that was not at all where i was trying to go with this it was just more like i thought that was a really interesting um Wait. Facts. Facts. And, yeah. and I actually knew that going into reading the story, so that's why my, my commentary is what is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's basically our book bingo for this time around. Um, we have now checked off a debut, uh, not debut book, novel. <laughs> Author. <laughs> Author. <laughs> so yeah, like let us know if you have read anything recently from a debut um, author slash novel. Um, and if you're going to play along with us for our book bingo challenge. But that's it for today. Yep. And we also have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and a podcast in which you can follow when you're on the go. Yep, and that's it. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Bye. Bye.